More than 50 years ago, a biologist in North Dakota invented the cable chain drag to help locate duck nests, and students today are still using this tried and true method for their summer research. So this will be the fourth summer that we have been conducting research up at our Coteau Ranch, um, working very closely with uh, UND. Um, we have a very talented team of undergraduate researchers who go out and search for duck nests every year. Sega says the goal is to get the biology students thinking about conservation of wetlands and grasslands habitat for waterfall. And another portion of the research is predation of duck nests. To take it to the next level, we're putting cameras on a subset of nests um, and we actually catch predation events um, you know, as they happen. Um, here, it's American badgers, which was kind of surprising. This is a great opportunity for University of North Dakota students to get some hands-on experience. The, the collaboration here is a benefit to everybody. Um, Ducks Unlimited gets a chance to help us train the next generation of um, biologists, and we at UND get a chance to use professionals in the field to do that. So everybody gains, we talk science, and, and we get to, to work together as a team. Ellison Nelson is a biology student at UND, and she has learned a lot about ducks from her experience. The most crucial thing out here for our ducks is habitat. The health of the grasslands directly correlates with the health of our ducklings and the success of those, along with the wetlands too. And as a companion to the project this year, UND communications major Colin Riley is helping to share the student research and experiences through a blog, social media, and a website called Real Duck Tales. I think we show some of our depredation events, so what predators are eating our nests, some cool things that the hens are doing, um, what our researchers are doing in the field, um, and then as well as just some cool pictures of what we see when we're out here doing our research. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.